Hey there anime fans and tower defense enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the colorful world of Anime Royale, one of the hottest Roblox tower defense games out there right now. If you've ever wanted to unleash some seriously powerful units to defend your base from waves of enemies and epic bosses, this is the game for you. But here's the catch, unlocking those mythic and legendary units can be a real challenge. You'll need to grind hard and maybe even form a few strategies with your friends to get your hands on those coveted characters. And let's not forget about upgrades. Once you finally snag those elusive units, it's time to pump them up to unlock their unique abilities and skills. With every update, the developers sprinkle in new units and tweak existing ones, so the game is always evolving. So, if you're looking to stay on top of your game and find out which units are truly the best, stick around. We'll break down the current mythics and how they stack up, so you can maximize your tower defense strategy. Let's jump right in. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking units in Anime Royale. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. A very small portion of the audience is subscribed to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thanks. The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Nemo, Naruto, Vegetable, Goku, Raiko, Roro, and to Tojiro. Alright folks, let's dive into the D-tier units of Anime Royale. The ones that might not shine as brightly as the others, but still have their quirks. First up, we have Nemo. Now, don't get too comfy with this D-tier label because Nemo is an absolute beast when it comes to farming. Seriously, she ramps up faster than you can say, Law Light. If you're tackling the story or raids, Nemo is your go-to girl for getting those resources rolling in. Next on our list is Naruto, the rare DPS powerhouse. Trust me, he's a game changer in the story mode. He can pretty much carry your team through most stages solo, which is a massive plus for anyone struggling to find their footing. His upgrades are cheap, which means you can pump out some serious damage without breaking the bank. Just keep in mind that while he's amazing against ground enemies, you'll want to pair him up with a hill unit to take care of those pesky flying foes. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Now let's talk about Vegetable. This guy may have a funny name, but he packs quite a punch. With insane range for a rare tower, Vegetable can hit targets from pretty far away. And let's not forget his multi-hit attack. It's like he's a shield-breaking machine. If you're facing off against those tough shielded enemies, Vegetable will be right there with you, smashing through defenses like they're made of cardboard. Moving on, we have Goku. Not to be confused with a certain other anime hero, this Goku also comes with multi-hit capability right upon placement. This makes him a solid choice for dealing with shields right from the get-go. He might not be the flashiest character out there, but he gets the job done, and sometimes that's all you need to secure that sweet victory. Last but certainly not least is Raiko. She has this fantastic cone AoE attack with some impressive DPS for a rare unit. The downside? Well, she's a bit on the expensive side to place an upgrade. If you can manage her costs, she can definitely hold her own in battle. And then we have Roro, who boasts solid DPS but suffers from a small AoE. His placement cost makes him a less appealing choice compared to other rare units, which is a shame because he really does have potential. And finally, we come to Tojiro. Oh, Tajiro, the underdog of this tier. With lackluster range and DPS, it's tough to recommend him over the other options. He's often regarded as the worst rare unit in the game, which is a real bummer. But hey, every game has its lows, right? So there you have it, the D tier units in Anime Royale. They might not be the top picks, but with the right strategy and team ups, they can still make a difference in your gameplay. Keep experimenting and who knows, you might just find the perfect combination that works for you. The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Pickle, Kokuin, Inusuki, Alligator, and Kik Kikishi. Alright, let's, let's dive into the C tier units of Anime Royale. There's quite a mix here, each with its own quirks and capabilities, so let's break them down. First up, we have Pickle. Now, Pickle is a pretty decent epic hill unit. With his multi-hit attack and solid DPS, he can definitely hold his own. However, the catch is that you can only place two of him on the battlefield. This limitation tends to overshadow his performance, especially when you've got someone like Kokoin in the lineup. Speaking of Kokoin, he's arguably the star of the show in the C tier. If you're looking for dab PS, Kokoin is your guy. This epic hill unit boasts a multi-hit attack that hits hard and fast. Plus, the best part? His placement and upgrade costs are super cheap. That makes him a fantastic choice for players who want to maximize their damage without breaking the bank. 
Seriously, if you're progressing through the story, Kokoin should definitely be on your radar. Now, let's talk about Inusuke. Oh boy, poor Inusuke. He really is the worst of the epic towers. He's strictly ground only, and while he tries his best, his DPS just doesn't make up for his short range. You'll find that he struggles to compete with the other units in this tier, especially with all the heavy hitters around. If you're looking for a reliable option, you might want to skip him and focus on the better choices available. Next up is Alligator, who brings some serious utility to the table. He's currently the second best support unit in Anime Royale. With his hybrid capabilities, full AoE slow, and impressive range, Alligator can really change the game. However, keep in mind that his seconds per attack isn't the best, which might make him feel a bit sluggish at times, but when he's on point, he can turn the tide of battle with his ability to control enemy movements. Finally, we have Kikishi. This unit is pretty nifty because he can stun enemies with his attacks, which makes him a solid choice for support. He also boasts decent DPS, so he can definitely carry you through the story mode if needed. If you're looking for a unit that can both deal damage and control the flow of battle, Kikishi might just be your go-to. So, there you have it, an overview of the C-tier units in Anime Royale. Whether you're building your team or just experimenting, remember to keep these guys in mind. Happy gaming! The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Micro, Sosuke Kirin, Ichi, Ah, uh, Ichi, Netsu, and Freeze. Alright folks, let's dive into the B-tier units of Anime Royale. We've got some interesting contenders here that bring their own unique flair to the battlefield. So grab your snacks and let's break it down. First up, we have Micro. Now, this guy is a beast when it comes to raw DPS. If you're looking to deal some serious damage, Micro is your man. He's got an excellent range AoE attack and can even target flying enemies. The catch? He's a bit pricey to place an upgrade, which makes him more suited for those infinite runs where you can really maximize his potential. If you're playing smart, he can turn the tide of a battle, just don't expect to drop him casually in regular matches. Now, let's talk about Sosuke Kirin. This unit is often labeled as one of the worst legendary characters in the game. His burn ability is lackluster, and with only two placements, he's not exactly winning any awards for versatility. To make matters worse, he's not a hybrid, and his range is pretty terrible. So, why would you ever consider picking him over an epic unit? Well, his stats do have some merit, but honestly, if you're trying to optimize your team, you might want to pass on this guy. Next on our list is Ichi, who many consider to be the best legendary unit out there. This hill unit can shred through enemy shields with his burn ability while dishing out some respectable damage to boot. If you find yourself up against pesky shielded enemies, Ichi is your go-to. He's got the right mix of offensive power and utility that can really turn the tables in your favor. Trust me, you don't want to overlook this unit. Now, we can't forget about Netsu. He's sitting right at the bottom of the legendary tier list alongside Sosuke Kirin. While he applies burn just like Kirin, he does it with more ticks, which is a slight improvement. However, similar to Sosuke, Netsu doesn't bring much else to the table. If you're looking for a strong burn unit, you'll likely want to look elsewhere. There are definitely better options in the game that can get the job done more effectively. Last but not least, we have Freeze. If you're tackling the story mode, this unit is a game changer. Freeze is incredibly cheap to place and upgrade, and his DPS is surprisingly good. Plus, once you fully upgrade him, he can target flying enemies as well. He's the kind of character that can help you breeze through those tough levels, making him a fantastic choice for players who want to make their story run a little easier. So, if you haven't given Freeze a shot yet, I highly recommend adding him to your lineup. And there you have it folks, that wraps up our rundown of the B-tier units in Anime Royale. Whether you're gunning for a high DPS with Micro or clearing levels with Freeze, there's something for everyone in this tier. Happy gaming! The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Ulkorio, Zonitsu, and Goku Dark. Alright, let's dive so let's dive into the A-tier units in Anime Royale and see what makes them stand out. First up, we've got All Corio, the powerhouse of this tier. Seriously, his evolution is nothing short of overpowered. If you're aiming for top tier performance, you absolutely need to invest in him. Not only does he boast one of the highest DPS among legendary units, but his long line AoE attack is just incredible. It can wipe out hordes of enemies with ease, making him a must have for anyone looking to dominate the battlefield. Trust me, once you get him maxed out, you'll wonder how you ever played without him. Now, let's talk about Zonitsu. Honestly, this guy is kind of a mixed bag. His stun ability is his only saving grace. 
Without it, he'd be in serious trouble, probably even lower than Sosuke Kirin. The stun can be useful in tight situations, but it just doesn't make up for his lacklustre performance overall. If you've got better options, you might want to skip out on Zenitsu. He's fun to use for a little while, but he definitely doesn't have the staying power of some of his A-tier companions. Speaking of solid choices, Goko Dark comes in next. He's a dependable hill unit you can lean on until you snag Ichi. He's got a reliable spot in your roster, but there's a catch. Once he's fully upgraded, he doesn't come with multi-hit or burn abilities. That can make him pretty weak when it comes to dealing with shielded flying enemies. You might find yourself frustrated when those pesky foes start to swarm. So while Goko Dark is good for now, keep your eyes peeled for something better to replace him down the line. In summary, these A tier units offer a blend of strengths and weaknesses that can shape your gameplay. Orquario is your go-to for sheer damage, Zonitsu can buy you time with his stun, and Goko Dark is a solid stepping stone. Just remember to keep upgrading your roster as you progress. The battlefield keeps evolving and you want to be ready for anything that comes your way. The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Manara, Kaneki, Jotaro, Freeze Final, and Stabs. Alright, let's dive into some of the most powerful units in Anime Royale. If you're looking to boost your gameplay and dominate the competition, you'll want to get to know these S tier characters. They bring a mix of damage, utility, and crowd control that can turn the tide of battle in your favor. So, grab your favorite snacks and let's break down why these units are must-haves. First up, we have Manara. This guy is an absolute beast. With his incredible range and damage per second, he's definitely one of the top choices in the game. What really sets him apart is his amazing damage over time ability. And let's not forget about his cone AoE attack. When you max him out, he can cover a massive area, making him a threat to any enemy trying to cross his path. Plus, he can hit flying enemies too, which is a huge bonus. Trust me, having Manara on your team is like having a secret weapon. Next, we can't ignore Kaneki. Now, Kaneki is particularly known for his prowess against shields, which can be a game changer in tough battles. His performance before maxing him out is already impressive, but once you level him up, he becomes one of the best DPS units in the game. With high damage and a low seconds per attack, he's all about delivering that consistent damage. So, if you're dealing with pesky shielded enemies, Kaneki's your go-to guy. Now, let's talk about Jotaro. This unit shines as a support character with a toolkit that can stun, knock back, and slow down enemies. His DPS is solid too, making him a well-rounded asset to any team. The catch? He can only target ground enemies, which might limit his effectiveness in some situations. But if you can use him strategically, Jotaro can be a real game changer on the battlefield. Moving on, we have Freeze Final. And let me tell you, this guy is a serious endgame powerhouse. As a hill unit, he brings a multi-hit attack to the table along with extremely high range and a large AoE. What really makes Freeze Final stand out is his attack channeling for so long, which practically makes his SPA feel like it's non-existent. If you're looking to shred through shields and deal massive damage, he's the ultimate choice. Last but definitely not least, we've got Stabs. This character is a mythic with full AoE capability, and his performance in infinite mode is nothing short of insane. Stabs can target flying enemies and has a multi-hit attack that stuns foes for a brief moment. This means he can not only dish out damage, but also provide some great utility to your team. With stabs on your roster, you can keep your enemies at bay while racking up those sweet victory points. And there you have it. These S tier units, Manara, Keneki, Jotaro, Freeze Final, and Stabs are not just the best of the best in Anime Royale. They're game changers that can elevate your gameplay to the next level. So make sure to level them up and strategize their placements wisely to dominate your matches. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.